Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shot Archery, Anthony here, and in this video, by popular request, I am going to try to shoot uh, Lisa Unruth's uh, stabilizer setup. Now this is as close as I could come to getting her setup. I did look at her uh, Shoot Like Me video that World Archery put together, and it has some pretty good, you know, close-ups and just video of her bow setup and, and how it shoots. So, uh, since you guys sent me that link, I use that to try to base uh, my stabilizer off of that. Now, I did keep the V-bar on here and the extension because, well, I'm used to shooting with a stabilizer, and you know, exactly in uh, you know this length with this amount of weight on it, um, you know, because these are my usual sidebars. We just happen to mount them way down here on this riser. I'm actually using the new Shrewd. Uh, Atlas uh, adjustable V-bar and um, for the stabilizers the sides and the front uh, these are actually uh, the new intermediate priced uh, MK Impers their new intermediate stabilizer so uh, this will work great it's the same size and length as uh, well the side rods are a little bit longer than my previous stabilizer setup so overall uh, this is a you know a pretty interesting setup I think it's going to be quite similar to Jacob Wookie's setup. Uh, obviously he was using the top and the bottom of his bow at the same time. This is just utilizing the bottom, but you can already feel just from holding it out that there is a lot more weight situated in this back half of the bow. So again, I think it's going to be a very stable shot at full draw, and I think it's just not really gonna come out of my hand, which is fine. Uh, but it, it will be interesting to see, you know, through the shots I, I put through it, you know, how that feels. And uh, maybe it's something that you want to, uh, you know, copy or imitate, uh, you know, in your own shooting and see how, uh, how it works for you. Uh, one thing I did notice uh, right away is because the side stabilizers sit out so far from the string, um, it's easier just to totally skip uh, using a bow stand because, well, the bow basically stands by itself. Uh, the Short Shot Archery Tip Protector actually comes in great because this limb right here is actually resting on the stones I'm shooting on and this other one is up in the air. Uh, other than that, I am using uh, some MK Zest limbs on <laughs> a Hoyt GMX riser because uh, none of my risers that I have set up currently have mounting holes in the back besides one but its grip is out getting um, we got grip things going on we'll see if that turns into a video but don't don't, don't quote me on it um, but yeah so we're, we're, we got the GMX all hooked up so let's get started so already as you can tell this is this is a little different I'm not quite used to uh, having <laughs> uh, V bars all the way down here but that's okay. We will uh, we will make do. Uh, I also haven't shot this riser in <laughs> like a year, <laughs> but uh, uh, I'm sure it'll be just fine. Uh, all right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> as as I as I thought, very very balanced at full draw. Like you you feel you do feel like a statue, but then at the same time, when you shoot, the bow really doesn't go anywhere. It really it really doesn't. <laughs> Maybe it looks like a little bit more on camera, but for me as you know as the shooter, uh, it doesn't feel like it goes anywhere. You just shoot. And the arrow goes, and the bow's like, ah, I'm still here. <laughs> let's let's try this again. <laughs> now hers does flip a little bit better uh, in the videos, and just if you're watching her on the World Cup stage. So I'm sure she spent a lot more time than me actually tweaking her setup and she's probably shot more than, well, two arrows through it. She's probably at like, I don't know, 200,000 plus 
if not more than that. I'm sure it's way more than that. I don't know how long she's been shooting her stabilizers set up in that manner, but if it's been a number of years, it's probably in the millions of arrows <laughs> that she has shot, especially if it's going on a decade. So let's try this uh, for, for one more shot, see if anything else is interesting. So it really doesn't feel bad, even before I draw back this bow, just like getting set up and going up, it feels really good. But then, unlike Jacob's where here felt really easy, I feel it more once you get all the way into basically anchoring into your face. Now Lisa's stabilizers, on the sides at least, are a little bit shorter uh, than mine. Now that's probably something that she's fine-tuned over the years and to herself, because I'm guessing, I think I met Lisa once in person, I'm a little bit taller than her, so I do have a little bit longer stabilizers. So I'm guessing we're, I'm having about the same experience as she does, you know, shooting her bow. Um, if I do get a chance to uh, meet her again, I'll see if I can actually ask her about it and see what she has to say. Uh, so with that, I hope you enjoyed me trying out uh, Lisa Unruh's stabilizer setup. Uh, you know, be sure to check her out. She's a really amazing athlete coming from Germany. And, uh, you know, I'm always being inspired by top shooters around the world. So if anybody has any other uh, equipment suggestions or things they want me to try out, uh, let me know and uh, I'll do it. Uh, maybe down the road, uh, if it's possible, I'll try to do some longer testing to see if I can show uh, a difference in like arrow grouping and just how my own stability changes based on stabilizer setups. Uh, you know, that's something I want to make very accurate and as scientific as possible. Uh, more so than just me putting together the setup and shooting it. So uh, maybe that's something that happens down the road. Uh, other than that, this was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed uh, sharing this uh, with all of you. Um, uh, if you liked it, uh, please you know give me a like, maybe subscribe. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, I would love to hear it down in uh, the comments section. Uh, you know, I try my best to read all of them and respond where possible. <laughs> and as always, uh, happy shooting!